Hi, I'm John Falk. I'm starting my 37th year here at the University of Michigan Football Equipment Manager. And this is Countdown to Kickoff. We're 30 days away from starting the 131st season of Michigan football. The players are off this week, resting before the start of camp on Monday. But the equipment staff has been hard at work getting ready for practice. At the beginning of each season, 20-some freshmen come in and they're fitted for their first time for the Michigan football headgear. What a tremendous feeling it is to watch a man's face as he puts this Michigan helmet on. They usually have these helmets for four years because once they're fit, they like the way they fit and they like to wear it like a glove. When they put it on their head, they feel comfortable and it feels good. Now at the end of each season, these helmets are sent out and they're reconditioned and they're recertified and they're refurbished for the next season. Our helmets manufactured by Riddell go to their facility outside Cleveland, Ohio, where a six day process makes our winged helmet as good as new. Riddell recertifies 3,000 helmets a day in the summer and more than 850,000 in a year. We basically are cleaning it, disassembling it first, cleaning it, sanitizing it, then we're inspecting it, putting any parts that are necessary, and then we're reassembling it after we paint it to, um, to make sure that it's back the way you ordered it. Start to finish is probably about six days with Michigan because you have the uh, two coats of paint we have to wait uh, in between. Each helmet is tested before and after, making sure all the safety standards are met. Now there are many high schools and colleges around this country who wear a winged helmet. But there's only one University of Michigan helmet. Your Michigan wing only goes on your helmet. All the other Michigan wing helmets that are out there have a standard Michigan wing for high schools that we put on. Some are customized. The designed at the school once, but yes, Michigan, their Michigan wing is only for Michigan. Our shut brand helmets get shipped to Capital Varsity in Oxford, Ohio for reconditioning and the process is the same. What's unique about this outfit is the man who paints the helmets, Russ Hawkins. He doesn't use any decals. He forms the wing with his eyes and hands and he's been doing it for the last 40 years. When I first started, I would do maybe 15 a day, and now I can do 70 a day. This 74-year-old has no plans to retire. Heck, he's looking forward to painting another 4,000 Michigan football helmets. Their helmet is the most well-known helmet across the United States, and uh, you'd just be surprised at the people that wants me to paint a Michigan helmet for them, and especially little kids. All right. All helmets now are back here at the University of Michigan Football Equipment Room. It's our job as a staff, Bob Bland, Rick Brandt, Brent McGinnis, and myself to make sure these helmets stay in great condition to face the season that's coming up for the University of Michigan. For mgoblue.com, this is John Falk.